The first mural we did started out at the shop building, my shop building, which is adjacent to Atelier here. And it started out as the idea that there's this big, beautiful wall with this great sight line of Randolph, and for years we thought about doing something. After my dad passed away and, and Sherry and I were a little bit aimless, uh, we decided to work on a mural there using uh, doodles from his memo pass, from his legal pass, and working with Kelly Tompkins to put that together and, and make a really big, beautiful, interesting, weird, unique piece. After that was all said and done, the summer was over, we were kind of uh, planning a trip to Ireland and, and generally thinking about what to do next, and this shop building, and these two shop buildings, that's actually half a city block, came up for auction. I wandered over the day of the auction to bid on a forklift and was leaning up against one of the Lepard pickup trucks and Sherry walked up. She leans up against me at the pickup truck and, and they're doing the bidding and bidding and bidding and bidding and, and she asks, what, what are they bidding on now? I said, well, it's the whole, it's the whole thing. I mean, the whole, the buildings, the property, everything. And she kind of had this weird glimmer in her eyes. She said, let's buy it. And of course, I wasn't going to say no. I mean, sure, why not? Let's, let's buy a building. And, and we ended up buying it. We bought the whole half a block at auction. A couple weeks later, Sherry and I went to Ireland for a week and spent the vacation talking and planning and thinking about what this could be. And spent that week making notes and plans and developed what turned into Atelier. Atelier 339 Inc., our nonprofit 501c3 organization, has several purposes, three kind of big goals. First, we want to provide an artist in residence program using the two apartments located here on site. The idea is that you apply and if selected, you get free living space and free workspace and a monthly stipend to come to Enid and, and do your work. Contribute to the space, contribute to the community, but primarily a working artist gets a really neat opportunity to come somewhere new and, and do their work. So that's one. Second, we're going to build studio spaces into the back of the building behind me which will be available for rent at a very low cost. The idea being that a working artist here locally who might not otherwise have space access to a private space can pay a pretty modest monthly rate and get use of a really nice, um, fully white boxed out private space of their own, you know, 24 seven access and, um, and also access to the greater facilities here, which goes on to our third goal, our shared resource center, which is the building across the way. There, we're going to house the kind of big tools and equipment that folks don't generally have access to. Kind of like a maker space for artists. That is a, a site that will house things like a printing press, a CNC machine, kiln, maybe some blacksmithing tools, screen printing equipment, and whatever else we acquire over the years. Anyone in the community can get access to that by applying and again paying a very modest fee once they're accepted as well as the artists in residence and the studio space, again, we'll have access to these great resources to support the artist community as a whole. In addition, what we are doing to this really neat part of town, just east of downtown here, is helping develop a sense of community. There's already a lot of folks that use this part of town, and it's not really appreciated. This is unique, there's character here. So with our site here, this half a city block that we have, we're trying to develop that character a little bit more put River Rock on this nice weird parking lot. We're building a stage behind me to host concerts and speaking events and whatever else we can dream up. This mural has clearly changed the character of the space and as time goes on and we raise additional funds, the space is going to look a little more interesting. I think the south wall of this building comes next with another mural. Hopefully we'll have some big art. We're planting trees. We're making it just a little more interesting and a little bit weirder. If you'd like more information about us, please contact us at atelier339.org. There you can find information about how to join our Share Resource Center, rent a studio space, become an artist and resident, or help us. You can help us by donating equipment, donating time, donating resources, or donating money. We have a lot to do here. We're happy to talk to you about what we're doing and how you can help.